passenger leaving a liner at the checkpoint. Please return to the checkpoint to claim it. Thank you. Just boarded. Going to Charlotte, North Carolina. So right now I'm at Charlotte Airport, North Carolina. Our uh, plane got stuck on the tarmac for 45 minutes and then now the plane coming to us is delayed and when we land in Philly we are going to drive to New Jersey. It's like a looking like a two hour trip. Our flight attendants just showed up. We're 20 minutes late. like formaldehyde in that bus. Ah. <sighs> Finally made it. Nice little bathroom. And this is the view. It's currently 31 degrees here. In San Antonio, it's actually 51. It's a big difference. It's pretty nippy out. So, although this hotel room does look pretty nice, I did notice one thing. This is the bathroom. And above me is the air filter. That is straight up dust. The whole entire thing. Yes.
Today I'm going to show you what I do for a living. So, it's at 11 o'clock right now. I'm going down to the employee cafeteria because that's what I have access to to get some breakfast. This is the employee cafeteria. Very nice. So they didn't have breakfast. I got there too late. So they didn't have breakfast, so I had a banana and some toast. But here's why. In February of this year, I came to Atlantic City for a show at the resorts, which is like right down the boardwalk. I got food poisoning from their cafeteria. The key is to call it like you see it with these cafeterias. If it looks terrible, probably shouldn't eat it and you should probably just stick to like fruit or something like that. It's 11.40 right now, so I have like 20 minutes to kill before I have to be in the venue downstairs. I'm late, I'm late. Showroom. That's the wrong direction. I'm just walking around at this point. This is definitely one of the nicer casinos I've been to. This venue is huge. This is the very last row. That's the stage. So, this is where I work. So this is my desk for today. It's a venue D-show with two sidecars. 
So we got a sidecar right here and a sidecar right here. Basically just extra real estate for channels. I have everything laid out. I'm not even using all of the channels. I'm using up to about half of this sidecar. It's really nice to have everything laid out right in front of you. You don't have to go through layers or anything like that. Let's try uh, I'm seeing it on the right side now. Yeah. Okay, on the right side. Does it sound like the left side? Okay. The left side seems a lot hotter. Yeah, check the uh, pads in the front of those DIs too, Jim. Pads are the same. Pads are the same. Interesting. I'm going to change the cable, right? Okay. Hey, Tony? Yeah. Uh, it's worth checking the, uh, the keyboard over on this side again. Wouldn't be a proper sound check without something not working. the drone pretty bad. I don't know if it's okay or not. So this is what happened. I was flying in the venue and I was going left. It disconnected so I didn't have control over it and it basically just ran straight into the wall. Uh, a propeller broke. I'm looking at it right now and this little piece broke off where the propeller locks in. And then the worst of it is right here. It looks like it hit something. I think it hit a chair on the way, like after it ran into the wall. I don't know if I can fix this. I don't even know if it works. Like it might be all jacked up, like out of balance now, but it's all bent up and almost completely broken right there. Other than that, this little piece, which looks like it can be replaced really easily if I have a part from DJI. Uh, the battery got, yeah, there's some dings on this. So when I got to it, the battery was completely out of the drone and just lying on the floor. Yeah, this sucks, man. This sucks really bad. <sighs> Luckily, uh, I think I have the footage though. I don't know when it cut off. It probably cut off immediately because the battery, but that's the thing that sucks is the battery came out. So at some point it's just gonna the video is just going to stop. Sucks. I have to be down in the lobby at 8.45. Sucks that I crashed the drone, but we're still going to have a good show tonight. Ugh, what a way to throw a kink in the day. Ugh. This is us going to the gig. Ready to rock out. Ready to rock out on New Year's. Last time was 2016. And I'm ready for this year to be over. Okay, no shit. <laughs> 
we got all sorts of food. The whole band. Yeah. At least. No. All right, this is the stage. We go on in 20 minutes. This is what it looks like before a show. Just finished the show. It's 11:30, and they're doing fireworks on the boardwalk. So I'm probably gonna go check that out. There's a lot of drunk people here because it's New Year's. I have four grandkids. I have five grandkids. Five grandsons. Oh my God! I got a little girl. I got two little girls. Happy New Year, 2017. Right here. Right here. Can't get out of here. Thank God. Couldn't get out of there. Apparently it's supposed to be fireworks out here, but nobody's out here because it's kind of cold. They didn't do the fireworks. Lame. Happy New Year, though. <laughs>